on ABC Radio Brisbane and Queensland. Great to be here with you broadcasting live from Bribie Island, giving you a slice of island life and instead of a musical rabbit hole today, a couple of musical stories for you in a moment. You're going to meet someone who is going to serenade you. And then after that, the story of an unusual music player, one with a longer and more interesting history than most, a very special gramophone that is on its own very special journey. You'll find out what that's all about in a moment. But I thought while we're out and about, let's hear from a local musician in a time in the program that we normally focus on music. I wanted to find out, meet somebody who's doing their thing, who can introduce us to the local area here in Bribe, and someone can do that. Who could do that is Phoebe Pertell. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Nice thank you so much for being here. Yeah. You're thank you. um, Morton Bay born and bred. Is yes. that right? Yes. We're here on Bribe Island in the Morton Bay area. And what's, I mean, what's the best spot on the island? Um, my personal favourite would be my auntie Trixie Lang's house. She had a big <laughs> front yard with sandy dirt. It was very good. Okay, so auntie Trixie's house. Excellent. Yeah. I like. Do I door knock until I get there? Yeah, I'm... just knock on every door, and everyone will be lovely. I feel like that's a euphemism, is it, for the music <laughs> industry? You've got to work so hard. You've got to be able to put yourself out there. Yeah. Could you tell me about your musical story, Phoebe? Yeah, it's been amazing in the last couple of years, stepping out of home from the comfort of like COVID, to stepping into like open mic nights and events like that. It's been really awesome there's some amazing people setting up opportunities for artists to get on the stage and get that rehearsal in get that practice of like performing because it's a totally different skill than just rehearsing in your home um because you said did you say the comfort of covid i I shouldn't have said that that was so silly (laughs) (laughs) no but i mean i can understand in a way like obviously it had its challenges and had significant challenges if you're in music industry and you're trying to perform for people but there was you know there was bubble and in some ways it was restrictive and exhausting and but in some ways there was a comfort to it I can imagine that in that's kind of what the song that we're going to sing is about is like that there's like a, a vulnerability that you have to have to be able to step out and perform and give your art to people and it took a lot of like overcoming anxiety to get that to get through to be able to do that like I talk about I've heard people talk about like people during COVID became closet musicians it's like they're in a tiny little room and that's where they make their music and that's where they live and that's where they do everything and now it's it's finally like coming back to normal and changing and so had you been performing much before that or like what's I your literally... timeline I did my debut performance of, like, a live show, February 2020. Whoa. And what was the build-up for that? How much had you been working up towards that? Yeah, I'd been working on um, albums and projects from my bedroom since, like, 2016. Oh, really, like, since 2011, as soon as I got on a computer, I was like, look what I can do with this. Yeah, okay, so it's sort of, there'd been a long lead up years and years but when you said your first performance how old were you at that point 2020 I was winding back three years 23 yeah okay so you just you'd gone through you didn't done high school stuff and you'd I'd uh, done high school I'd done uni and I I'd really struggled with self-confidence and I still struggle with that but I feel like I'm so much further along now like it took me up until 2020 to be like, yes, I'm a musician. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to pursue. And by then it was like, whoopsie daisy. Now it's COVID. <laughs> now it's COVID. Yes. And so you were back uh, at, at home, which part of you would have been devastated by and then part of you would have been a little bit like, oh, well, that oh, well, takes uh, the pressure off a little bit in a way, does it? Yeah. No? Yeah. Like for a while I was trying to like contact venues around Morton Bay area being like, would you be okay to have me as like performer at the bar? And they're like, well, cost efficiency. Like we don't yeah. even know if we'll be open. We're not going to really do it for a while. So there was a couple of years there of like, what do I do? I guess I'll just make more music from my bedroom. And so uh, where have you come to in those last three years? Now, of course, we're 
out of that restrictive phase you've been able to get out and about and perform? Have you been busy? Yes, there's, um, you can do open mics like every night of the week, which is so awesome. There's been some amazing ones in Moreton Bay, like at Hip Hop's Brewery or North X Thirsty Chiefs. Um, there's one at Lazuka Pizza Restaurant I did the other night where it's like just a welcoming atmosphere for people to all come together and support each other as like supporting artists but also musicians supporting restaurants and businesses. And so do you feel like you're gathering a momentum or like because it's it's one thing to, um, to, to be able to create on a smaller scale but then like to be able to quit the day job is a pretty big leap. So That's like, the challenge where I'm are you up now. to? Yeah. yeah, at the moment I'm still working full time as a dental assistant. Yeah. And I've found that the artists that I look up to at the moment who are like on the same like stage of life as me that's what they're doing they have a full-time job that's very secure covid safe and then when they have the time and the money they throw it into music so it's it's the hobby that you're investing in at the moment as opposed to the one that's paying you yeah and i think increasingly that's what artists lives are going to look like like that's a little bit depressing isn't it I get real depressed, yeah, if I look too hard into, like, how the industry is going. Maybe I'm looking too much at America. Yeah. Like, it doesn't seem like there's heaps of paid performance opportunities. So how do you create, then, when you're busy being a a dental assistant? Like, it, it actually takes a lot of time and energy to be creative and to hone skills. Yeah. And so, like... I mean, sometimes I get home at 8 p.m. and I'll just get on the computer and start making stuff but then you know sometimes I'll leave work at five I'll be like yeah I get to leave work at five and I'll go to an open mic and perform um yeah when we have time to do it we do it that's just how it is and sometimes it's oh I just had an idea for a song and I've got a piece of paper and I'm in dental surgery and I'm writing it down right now <laughs> uh yes singing along and uh yeah it's just singing the way it head. goes yeah it's yes skill. okay well um tell us a little bit about the music clip for your single how did that how did you get that together that was heaps of fun that was my birthday party I was like Ah! all I want for my birthday is a music video and I got my friends together and I got them all to decorate some t-shirts with the lyrics and they all did their own artwork and paid them in food and then got them like to perform they like they were all so nervous but I kind of love that that's the vibe of the song that's what it's about really is like being nervous and choosing to take the brave step and choose happiness and you've released this single into the world yeah, now. It is now. How's it going on and where can people find it? You can find it on streaming, um, on Spotify or on YouTube, my YouTube channel, Phoebe Pertil. It's all there. Like, it's on all the services. Right. Okay. Yes. So shall we hear it? Yes. Can let's we hear do it, it now. please? Okay. And we should introduce, by the way, uh, Mitchell Ricks, who is on guitar, because ordinarily you would be playing keys. And we had to just be a little bit... You, had, you, had, you were creative and thought, there's got to be another way. I can't lug a piano. It just sounds better on guitar. Yes. And I'm not a good guitarist. Thank you, Mitchell, for stepping in at short notice. Uh, on ABC Radio Brisbane and Queensland, Kate O'Toole's my name. You are hearing a brand new song from an up-and-coming artist from here in Moreton Bakes. We're broadcasting live from Bribey Island today. This is Phoebe Pertil. Awesome. Thank you so much. What you gonna own this? When you gonna believe in yourself? When you gonna wake up walking down the street? Picture of health. When you gonna dress up? When are you gonna celebrate yourself? When you gonna catch yourself falling in love with someone else? What if it rains? What if it all comes back to haunt me? If I'm covered in pain, what if the sky opens up and destroys me? Oh, uh-huh, well, so what if it rains? So what if it rains? When you're gonna tell all the truth about the way you live your life, you've been living in Trying to grow one's neon lights What if it rains And it all comes back to haunt me If I'm covered in pain 
Well done on ABC Radio Brisbane and Queensland. I'm applauding, but I'm also trying to hold my microphone. But Phoebe Pertell is the singer that you were just hearing there with What If It Rains, her new single. You can find it on social media. And thank you so much to Mitchell Ricks on guitar as well. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Excellent. Phoebe, thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks, All Kate. the best with everything. And thank you for sharing your story with us. Well, thank you for asking. <laughs> on ABC Radio Brisbane and Queensland.